Mahogany! You see that? Do you see that? You see that seven? You see it? Not anymore. Not anymore. Happy New Year, you people, I think. I think some of you are slugs, not completely sure. It's 2018, you know what that means. Our number switched from a seven to an eight. Drink heavily. On my way back home yesterday from my local game store, I decided to pick up some packs of cards to open on camera, because that's what I do here. Thank, thank you for following me through that expl explanation of what I fucking do here. So yes, I got some Conspiracy Take the Crown, and I also got some Conspiracy 1, uh, Make the Crown. You see, they made the crown, and in this one, they took it. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite sets. It is a drafting set, which is why I guess I like opening it so much, uh, because people hate it when I open it and not draft it. Uh, Conspiracy Take the Crown gave me probably some of my best pulls this year. Leovold, Foil Silvala, or at least some of the more expensive magic pulls. And uh, I figured I'd roll them dice, roll them bones, and try again. So here we go. Let's open some conspiracy, but before that, we need a playmat, and I'm going to be using probably my favorite playmat ever. Metal Dog Fox Filigree Familiar Dem Special Eyes Nose. Yep, so we're going to be opening some conspiracy 1 and conspiracy 2, and we'll uh, interchange between the two sets. Let us start with conspiracy 1. Uh, I've opened a lot of conspiracy 1, I have like two booster boxes. Got some very good stuff out of it. There is some value out of this pack. Hey, look, when, uh, not Theros, that is Born of the Gods, I believe. Yeah, that's when Born of the Gods, uh, before it came out. Look at that. It has some, uh, this set has some pretty good on commons and, uh, commons. It's got Brainstorm, Swords, Plowshares, some really good stuff. Starting off, though, with Nather Tradewinds, Stave Off, Traveler's Cloak, Cinderwall, Vent Sentinel, which um, a friend of mine actually drafted five of these during a conspiracy draft and won with these goddamn monstrosities. I hate these things. Plummet, uh, Core Chant, Provoke, Don't Make Mike Wazowski Anger, Tyrant's Choice, and we got a Treason Ogre, which is not a bad card. That's pretty good. Peace Strider, got a Victimize, also not a bad card. Ill Gotten Gains, we have a foil though. Hey, a foil, vo a Wood Vine Elemental. And then our Irritative Analysis is our Conspiracy card. And a squirrel riding a motorcycle, which every altar artist has made a version of this squirrel riding something or having a huge dong. Either one is funny. Ill-Gotten Gains is not a bad card. Exile it. Each player discards their hand, then returns up three cards from their grave to their hand. That's a pretty good card to kind of weirdly off-center the table if you don't want to have a fun game. You just kind of want to... Do random shit. And then this card, I don't know what it does. First pack was... Eh. It was okay. Got a foil. These two uncommons are pretty good. Didn't get a brainstorm, though. Let's see if Take the Crown is any better. Duretti. I think, yeah, yeah, that's Duretti. That's the, uh... There's a goblin guy in a wheelchair. Alright. Starting off with Hurley Burley. That's a name. Driver of the Dead. Omen Speaker. Ill-Tempered Cyclops, Disenchant, the ugliest fuck-off Disenchant ever, Orchard Elemental, Throne Warden, uh, Sinuous Vermin, Skittering Crustacean, which is a hilariously fun limited card, Palace Sentinels, and we got Brush Strider, which I think is from Dragon's Maze? I don't really remember. Deadly Designs, Coveted Peacock, and our rare is a Dusk Mantle Seer. That is from Dragon's Maze. Uh, no, that is from Gate Crash, I believe. Yeah, originally printed in Gate Crash. Then we got Natural Unity as our conspiracy, and a Soldier. Throw him on the snow. Put the squirrel on top of him. Squirrels are better than soldiers. Yeah, this was originally a. Wait, was this a mythic? No, this was a rare. This was always a rare. All right, another conspiracy number one pack. What do you call this? Just conspiracy? Do you call this conspiracy? Take the crown. I call this conspiracy one, and I call that conspiracy two. Revengeance. Get it? Anyway. Uh, Pride Guardian. Hey, it's a cat with Defender. It's not, not great. Crook Claw Transmeter. Silver Chase Fox. That is a decent card. Lizard Warrior. Orcish Cannonade. Copper Horn Scout. Stronghold Discipline. Tyrant's Choice. Not Nature's Climb. That is also not a bad card. Compulsive Research. Again, not a bad card. This set has a lot of really randomly good uncommons and commons. Uh, Sky Spirit. Rhino Lantern, also good. Galvanic Juggernaut, and our rare is a Magister of Worth. That is a very good card. Hey, Deal Broker. 
This card is decent. It's a looter, I believe. Yeah, yeah, a loot. Nah, not a loot, like draw and discard, but I know Fred actually plays this in a deck just because it does that draw a card and discard a card effect. I think he plays it in Thrasios. And uh, what's the one that draws a card? I forgot the name. It's like the partner commanders. I don't remember. But it is a rare. And the Magister Worth is good. It's a Wrath on, a, on an Angel. Take the crown. She took the crown. What's her name? Oh, God. What's, what is her name? My heater's about to turn on, so it might get really fuzzy. Jeez, I forgot her name. Uh, I'm going to remember it in a bit. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Bonds of Quicksilver. Goblin Balloon Brigade. Shambling Goblin. Uh, Fleeting Distraction. Reviving Dose. Strength in Numbers. God's Willing. Garbage Fire. We got a Voyaging Satar, which is also not a bad card. Sinuous Vermin. We got Spire Phantasm. Besmirch. Deceiver Exarch. And our rare is a Grenzo. Havoc Razor. And hey, we got Emissary's Play. Or Ploy, rather, which has. Uh, what's Leovold? Leovold, the dude who pulls doves out his ass, I guess. Not completely sure. That is another rare conspiracy. And then Grenzo's not bad. He's a decent commander. You can goad something. And uh, force the table to have fun. There is a red uh, sorcery that goads all creatures you don't control. Which is the funnest thing to do in Commander late game. Because everyone then attacks everyone but you. And it's just funny watching everyone get mad. Alright, so that was Take the Crown. Another pack of original conspiracy. Throw that over there. Eh. Hey, Garrick. Hope he comes back soon. Uh, Aether Trade wins again. Pillarfield Ox, the strongest card in Magic, right next to Stormcrow. Traveler's Cloak, Brimstone Volley, Power of Fire, Charging Rhino, Twisted Abomination, Scaled Worm, Tragic Slip. I remember when this card was in Standard, everyone loved it. Uh, Valor Made Real, Factor Fiction, that is good. That is a good pull. Smallpox, uh, Warmonger's Chariot, and our rare is a Magus of the Mirror. And then we got a Secret Summonings for our Conspiracy, and no token, what a ripoff. Magus of Mirror, sack him, exchange life totals with target opponent, activate ability during your upkeep. Only during your upkeep. That's not bad. You just swap lives. Alright, last pack for the video, Conspiracy Take the Crown with Queen Marchesa on the cover. I would actually be fine if I pulled the Queen Marchesa. Hey, look, we got the crown. I found the Monarch crown. We are officially the Monarch, and that cannot leave play ever. Negate, Ember Beast, Absorb this Illusionary Informant. Uh, Entourage of Trest, Doom Traveler, a Plummet, Garbage Fire again, Opalane Unicorn, Sinuous Vermin, Rogue's Passage, very, very good card. I think I needed one too, so that's cool. Ascended Law Mage, Manoplasm, and Protector of the Crown. Isn't this good? When uh, when Aaron Sabathel, you become the Monarch. All damage that will be dealt to you is dealt to... Yeah, this is a good card. And then Hired Heist. It's a... Uh, the God, there's another card that's like this. It's like a white legendary guy. Uh, when it deals, except you get tokens from it. But yeah, whenever you take damage, instead it goes to him. So you give him indestructibility or make him, like, unkillable, and you essentially have, like, a damage outlet pillar of pain, whatever. So yeah, that was my six packs of Conspiracy. Not the greatest pulls, but quite honestly, a lot of playable stuff, at least. I honestly think I can put ill-gotten gains in something. Definitely needed a Rogue's Passage, and of course the random good commons and uncommons that are in the set. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to thank you all again for sticking with me through 2017. I do not intend to go anywhere for 2018. Hopefully I'll actually make more videos. I know my schedule is usually kind of random. I post whenever I have the time or whenever I can go buy stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I don't have a really consistent schedule. And quite honestly, I can't even promise any consistent schedule. What I do promise is cringy Jew jokes, which I know you guys, which I know you guys enjoy and the sound of ASMR. Does anybody actually fucking like ASMR? I don't. Anyway, I will see you guys later through 2018, but until then, don't forget to play Rogue's Passage in every single day. Hey guys, Fox knocked them. Happy New Year. Um, well, it's pretty much all that's going on. Christmas is over, so all that happiness is gone. Hello everyone, it is Fox. And guess what? It's New Year's. It's the end of 2012 and the beginning of 2013. Just wanted to wish you guys a happy New Year's, and uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. It's 2014! Yay! Happy New Year, guys. It is New Year's, rather. It is Fox, and it's January 1st in America. Happy New Year! It is 2015, and if you don't know what that means, it is one year closer 
to complete oblivion. Hey guys, it is Fox, and welcome to another Magic Pack opening. Before I even start opening anything, how adorable is this mat? This was a gift uh, from a friend of mine during our New Year's gift exchange, and I love it. Look at his nose. It's got a nose. So cute. Oh god, I love this mat. 